The first steps in massively parallel sequencing are to prepare the DNA. It is broken into fragments that are 200 to 600 base pairs long. An adenine A base is then added to the three prime end of each fragment. Short sequences of DNA, called adapters, are then attached to the end of each fragment. The double strands of DNA are then separated into single strands. These single strands of DNA are then washed across a flow cell. This is a small plastic slide with lots of small pieces of DNA, called primers, attached. The DNA strands bind to the complementary primers on the flow cell and any DNA that doesn't attach is washed away. DNA bases and DNA polymerase enzymes are added so that the complementary strand of DNA is made. The attached DNA fragments are then used as templates to make lots of copies by a process called bridge amplification. The DNA strands bend over and attach to the primers on the surface of the flow cell, creating a bridge. The complementary strand is made along the bridge. This process is repeated several times, resulting in millions of small clusters of DNA. The DNA is denatured, leaving clusters of single-stranded DNA. To start the sequencing process, small pieces of DNA, called primers, plus DNA polymerase enzymes and fluorescently labelled DNA bases are added. The primers are attached to the DNA being sequenced. The DNA polymerase enzyme then binds to the DNA and adds a complementary fluorescently labelled DNA base to the template DNA. These fluorescent bases are reversible terminator bases, which means that once they are added, no other bases can be added afterwards. Each of the terminator bases give off a different colour. Coloured lasers pass over the flow cell, causing the fluorescently labelled bases to glow. This fluorescent glow is then detected by a digital camera. Once this colour has been recorded, the fluorescent terminator tag is removed from the base allowing a new fluorescently labelled terminator base to be added. This process is repeated over and over until about 120 DNA bases have been sequenced. This type of sequencing is called massively parallel sequencing because millions of clusters are sequenced and imaged simultaneously. The DNA sequence of each cluster is exported from the sequencing machine for assembly and analysis.